Some MCPS students are doing amazing things with pasta. You probably think they were cooking, right? Well, no. Let's go to Johns Hopkins University campus in Rockville to take a look at an interesting feat of engineering. This summer, some MCPS high school students are learning about what it's like to work as an engineer in the engineering innovations course offered by Johns Hopkins University. We learned about stuff like uh, mechanical, civil, chemical engineering, which is interesting because we get to kind of figure out what we like and what we don't like. They are taking remote measurements of buildings. They are building mouse traps. And the most exciting project they do all summer is the spaghetti bridge project. They build bridges made out of spaghetti and glue and nothing else. If we make one of these triangular pieces and put it in here, I guess it won't add that much weight, right? I think one of the best ways to learn is project-based learning and we're taking risks. Like, we don't actually really know how the spaghetti is going to hold up. More than 2,300 students have taken engineering innovations over the last nine years, and 93% have gone on to study engineering in college. Kids love to build things, and it's a good way to combine what they learn uh, in class and then take it to real life. So the goal is to build a bridge using only spaghetti and glue and to see how much it can hold, how much weight from the center. Family members join students on the last day of class for the Spaghetti Bridge Strength Test. It was a tense and fun process for the students as each bridge eventually collapsed. The strongest bridge, designed from only spaghetti and glue, held 58 pounds. This is important. This is practical information. So it's good to capture these students at a young age, when they're 15, 16, 17 years old, and show them that engineering is important and that there is a career path in engineering. This summer class will empower me and Project Lead the Way to be able to work more efficiently with my peers and be able to actually think outside of the box more than before.